Hey, good morning everybody, it's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know the comedian Louis C.K., you know him? Louis C.K., he has a routine, it's called uh, Everything's Amazing and Nobody's Happy. And it's a hilarious routine, I'd encourage you to YouTube it sometime and watch it. Uh, it's very funny, but it reminds me of today's real estate market. Everyone be so crazy. Like home buyers, home buyers think it's 2008. I mean, we still have historically low levels of available inventory. We're still way below what would be a normal balanced market. But home buyers, for some reason, think they can get a deal. Get real picky, right? And so they just sit on the sidelines as home prices just continue to go up and up and up and up. Uh, everybody be so crazy. Home sellers. Well, home buyers think it's 2008. Home sellers think it's 2021. Uh, even though interest rates have more than doubled, for some reason, home buyers still have the expectations like it's 2021. I want top dollar. I'm gonna overprice my house 20% or more. And I still expect lots and lots of showings, lots of activity, multiple offers. Where's all the offers? It took more than a week. The house has been on the market for two weeks. What's going wrong? What are you doing to get my home sold? What's going on here? Everybody be so crazy? And when these home sellers, these home sellers, they're the craziest of all. Interest rates have more than doubled since 2021, but their expectations haven't changed. And when their unreasonable expectations are not met, it's your fault. It's the agent's fault. Look, the old saying is that you have to list to last in this business. And I, I, I guess I agree with that. No doubt that we all want more listing inventory. No doubt. But if you want more listings, you're gonna have to face the inevitable conflict that is sure to follow with home sellers. They're never gonna like you. Now I know everybody can point to a transaction they had where you all, it was just a love fest, but the only time I've really seen that consistently happen in my 37 years in this business was 2021. Right, home buyers were happy because interest rates were at 3%, so they could overpay for a house and still it'd still be affordable for them. Home buyers were happy, and home sellers were happy because prices were going up like crazy, and they could, in a week, they could get multiple offers and get more than they even dreamed of getting. This is the only time in my 37 years that I've seen everybody happy. Other than that, somebody's not happy. And I think today, as opposed to 2021, nobody's happy. As Louis C.K. says, everything's amazing. Six to seven percent mortgage rates are still amazing. I mean, they're not three percent anymore, but that was crazy. That wasn't going to last. Six to seven percent, are you kidding me? That's still really good. Unless your expectations. Louis C.K. says, everything's amazing. Nobody's happy. Yeah, that's right. It's 2024. Nobody's happy. And they're taking it out on you. And, well, let's just talk about that for a second. How are they taking it out on you? Well, the conflict that you are sure to have with your home sellers, tell me if I've got it wrong, I think it goes something like this. They didn't get enough money uh, compared to what they were dreaming of in their little heads. Uh, you got too much. You just make way too much money. Uh, it took too long. You didn't do enough. Mm -hmm. If you want listings, then you're also signing up for the, this conflict and you will need how to learn to deal with the conflict. Stop wishing for the conflict to go away. Stop wishing for everybody else to not be crazy. They are crazy. And you wishing for them not to be ain't going to change it. They're still going to be crazy. You're going to have to learn how to deal with it. Or don't take any more listings. 
But if you take listings in today's world, and probably every year going forward in your career, because again, I've only seen one time when that wasn't true, and that's not likely to come back. Uh, if you take a listing, you're signing up for the conflict. You're going to have to stand up to them. Now look, look, I get it. I know conflict makes most of you stomach hurt. You hate it. You shy away from it. You, you desperately don't want to have conflict. Then don't take listings. Because my whole contention is that's going to be nothing but conflict. Why is it my home selling? Your price is too damn high. No, it's not. Do you want to look at the comparables again? I mean, you're going to have to be willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe people with people and argue with them. And they're not going to like you. They're not. And you're going to have to get reconciled with that. They don't have to like you. They don't have to become your new best friend forever. They don't. They're going to be disgruntled. Why? Their expectations were out of whack from the beginning. And one of my questions is, did you address that? Like, did you help them understand that their expectations are completely out of whack? Do you have the skill to do that? Everything's amazing and nobody's happy. Mm -hmm. You too, but get a good chuckle out of that today. I think you'll really enjoy it. And then tell me if that isn't your real estate business all day long, every day. And folks, I know it's hard. I know learning to being willing to deal with the conflict is hard. That's a personal growth issue on your part. And you need to grow through it. And I can help you with that. I can. And what to say and how to say it to people. I can help you with that too. But like, you got to show up. I can't train people that aren't here. You've got to show up. And that's why I want you to get up and get dressed and get to work. So we can work on things like this so you can be more skilled and more prepared to deal with the crazy that's waiting for you out there. And if you were to do that, that's how you'd be going out and making it happen for yourself today.